Lockie is aware of our presence here this evening. And I think we should make him feel our presence. So if we could all gather together for a moment and offer up our wishes for him at this time and to plead with those in power who do have the ability to change the situation. Dear Lord, we're thankful for the, the ability to come out here this evening and gather together in support of our our brother who cannot join us because of the situation he finds himself in and the laws worded the way they are. We ask that you strengthen and comfort him in his time away from his family, especially at this time of year when family is so dear. We ask that you soften the hearts of those in the power who have the ability to set him free and to return him to his family. We ask that you bless those who have gathered here, comfort them in this cold weather, that we can send our spiritual message to, to Lockie at this time so that he can know that we are in his support and that we are concerned about him and that we do care for him and he is not alone. We are all there with him in spirit. And we know that you are beside him at this time also. We thank you again for the many blessings and again for the ability for us to come out here this evening and have the freedom to do so. And I am a pray. Amen. Amen. Tell me if you can't hear me because my voice isn't quite as deep as Kayla's. <laughs> but um, I'm Lockie's older sister and I've written a few poems before, but they seem really relevant right now. And so I just wanted to read them. They're not too long, but um, they bring me, bring me hope. And uh, so here we go. First one is hovering. And I know Lockie would, I hope that he can feel this nice cold wind we're all feeling tonight, because I know he'd want to be outdoors. Okay. So most of my poems have nature in them somewhere. Hovering. Hypocrisy hovers as wood smoke floats above golden grasses beneath low-lying fog, suffocating my spirit. Burnished oranges, tarnished reds, hazy yellows hidden by shadows, barely visible in the dimness, waiting, watching, as fog lifts and wood smoke rises, dissipating into cold, crisp autumn air, knowing winter's ice scrapes souls clean, bringing spring's green scent. And this is one um, that's to the team, because of all the work everyone's doing, you know, it's just very uh, little, little efforts make a big change, and I can feel it happening. So this poem is about that. Hopeful Magic. A fresh April wet snow gallops through thickets of pine and spruce, hemlock and balsam, heavily laden with thickness warming into cascading clumps, thuddingly, reverberatingly, finding passage through pungent boughs, drooping with yearning to spring and bounce in breezes yet unannounced and unseen. Deeply drumming winter's portentous end, thumping and throwing melting fits, snowy clumps make space for morning doves whistling up onto branches, warming in such musical lightness. All the while, the stoic robin flips sodden leaves, 
tossing showery snow and shimmering brightness over its own head, seeking moist, warm worms, wigglingly rising to the surface, discovering hopeful magic in mundane promise. So we're finding lots of worms for Lockie. And this last one is for the family that has grown and grown and grown since uh, a very short month. I feel like this whole region is our family now. And I'm so thankful for everything everyone's doing and all the support they're giving everyone that cares. And that's just about everybody here, right? We're all caring for him and Ginny and the kids and all of us who love him. Yankee Stew. And this is for, uh, you, could, you could put your own self in this poem, I'm pretty sure. I am from lakes and oceans, stone walls and sandy beaches. Sears Roebuck gone jazz, penning exquisite innovative designs upon flimsy paper napkins at the kitchen table. I am from broad bell Victrolas, singing tinnily from old car tables set up on sunshine bright, dusty driveways outside gritty and dry, merging into the inner darkness of musty smelling barns, hosting chocolate brown buffalo heads mounted upon weathered gray planks, gazing knowingly into my very soul with the sharpness of glittery black glassy eyes. I remember Cape Cod sea bass surf casting white mountain peanut planting grandfathers and ice cream giving grandmothers. We are from a hard cold Yankee stock upon a back burner bubbling, steamily becoming a soft warm family stew. Thanks for listening.